Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today we're playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We're about to head into Rustboro City. Um, we just defeated the twins. They uh, they gave us like 60 bucks. We uh, come across this bridge, we saw some kids, we're like, hey, give me your money, kids. And now we're heading towards Rustboro City. Oh, cool, look at the water. That is awesome, it looks great. Alright, what's what's down here first? Ah, oh, trees! Is this guy wanna Is that a, is that an old man or is it a lady? I can't tell. If you see berries growing, it's not <laughs> That was terrible. <laughs> Let me start that again. Hmm. If it's, it's starting off like Yoda. If you see berries growing in soft soil, feel free to take them. That's better. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. There we go, we got a chest over here. That was hilarious, it started off as Yoda. The way you look, you must be a trader. No. Traders often make their Pokemon hold berries. <coughs> I can't do that voice anymore, it hurts. Um, it's up to you whether you, whether to grow berries or use them. Right, let's, uh, cherry berry, four berries. Four berries, oh my god, I feel like super lucky right now. All right, what about, what about this one? Oran tree has four berries as well. We are collecting some mad Oran berries right now. There's another one, another four berries. I don't know why, but I really like these Oran berries. I just, I just like them, Oran, Oran. Anyway, let's plant a whole bunch of them. We have eight Oran berries. Let's plant all Orans, I don't know why, but the world is just going to be full of Oran berries. I'm not interested in the other ones until I know what they do in regards to like breeding and things like that. If they do anything in regards to things like breeding. Ah, oh, there's a fisherman. Let's speak with this guy. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me. Oh, it looks like he wants to battle. You are challenged by Fisherman Ivan. Sent out a Magic Up. All right, what can you do, Magic Up? You know what? Let's just Mega Drain it. Should be super effective. Grass versus Water. That's right, Magikarp, now you know! Oh man, I can't believe we got the EXP so easy in the game. I can't believe we didn't even have to work to get the EXP share. That is making, that's like... Wow. Back in my day, you had to work really hard to get the EXP share. And I think like back then as well, because there wasn't so many people on the internet sharing information on YouTube and sharing information on like forums. I mean, there was, you could find the information on the forums about Pokemon, but there was less than there is now. Like nowadays you can go to like Cerebi, um, what's the other one? I can't remember the other one. There's Cerebi and there's another big one. And you can just literally find every piece of information about Pokemon that you would ever, ever want to know about, you know, it's like, Crazy. Back back in the old games, we um, if you wanted the EXP share, and you didn't even know it existed, like no one, unless a friend at school told you it existed and told you how to get it, then you probably wouldn't have it. And then even in like gold and silver, I think I can't remember 100%, but didn't you get the EXP share around the um, around the um, Route 104, Rustbar City. Great. Um, didn't you get it around the casino? It was like a casino, and you got the EXP share from there. Rustboro City. Ah, it's me! So you made it here to Rustboro too, Ryan. Oh, that looks so good. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. Ah, it's a gym. Oh, and Ryan, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here too. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. How exciting. We've made it to Rustboro City. 
The city probing the integration of nature and science. What do these kids have to say? If Pokemon gains experience through battle, the way it looks can sometimes change. Okay. What about you? Pokemon can change the way they look. That could come. That could be quite a shock. All right. Where's the Pokemon Center from here? I need to heal up. There it is. Let's uh, let's go heal up and get rid of Lotad. I love the new jazzy remixes for the Pokemon um, Poker Center theme song as well. We hope to see you again. Right, cool. Let's get rid of Lotad. Deposit Pokemon. Lotad, I've had enough of your shit. Goodbye. And let's withdraw our Wingo. Oh, I went back to deposit. My bad. Withdraw. Hopefully we can get a Wingo out. Yeah, we can. All right, let's do it. All right, great. Now let's have a quick talk to these people. Hmm, has anyone told you that you have the looks of a Pokemon Ranger? Yes, they have. Just as I thought, that's the look. <laughs> my Pokemon has a naive nature. And my friend has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. I, I, I understand a little bit about the natures. I don't understand too much about how they affect stats and things like that. Because I haven't spent that much time researching it. Um, the man next door gave me a HM. Really. Uh, I could use it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down spiky trees. That means that we get the HM cut in the city. I heard that Pokemon centers had up to two stories around 10 years ago. They used to have a special area called the Pokemon Cable Club. Yeah, I remember that. And you used to like link your Game Boy Advance with someone else's with like an actual cable. That scientist in the background over there looks really seedy. Cutters, ah, see? The man next door gave me a HM. And he's got the trees around his house. You can't pass because of prickly thorns. I bet you, with like 100% certainty, that this man, I'm going to call him Eyebrows, is going to give us a HM. That determined expression. That limbo way you move. And you're well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you'll put this that you'll be capable of putting this HM to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. All right, we got Cut. Cut is like the most important HM in all Pokemon games. Cut and fly. Um, all right, awesome. And what about this girl over here? My dad helped me make Rustboro City. What is it? What it is today? He had his Pokemon use Cut to clear the lands and the trees and expand the city. Right, cool. So basically, this man is the bulldozer. My apologies, eyebrows. You're the bulldozer. I didn't realize. I just didn't know. Um, right. Oh, what's this man doing? Excuse me, trainer over there. Do you have a minute? You know, sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon. You end up making a Pokemon faint, even when you don't want to. For such a common problem, use this. Obtains TM54 False Swipe. False Swipe is a very handy move. No matter how many times it's used, the opposing Pokemon... Sorry. No matter how many times it's used on the opposing Pokemon, it won't cause the Pokemon to faint. I'm offering it for free right now. This is a limited time promotion. Great. Cool. Awesome, we actually we actually gave it to me. I'm buying antidotes in case I run into any shroomish in the Petalberg Woods. Nah. There's a ton of convenient items, they all look useful. I'm sure an escape uh, I'd sure like an escape rope in case I got lost in a cave. With an escape rope, it only takes a second to get back to the entrance. Yes, that's something that we need to have. My Pokemon evolved and now it has lots of HP. I should buy some super potions for it instead of ordinary potions. Right, let's get an escape rope and some super potions. Hopefully he sells them. Oh man. Oh no, he doesn't sell them yet. Alrighty then. Well, not much else we can do. Let's uh let's carry on. Every now and then 
I see that old sailor who lives by the sea, Mr. Briny, talking. Oh, taking a stroll through the tunnel. Yeah, cool. What's this? Is this a tunnel? No, it's a mansion of some kind. There's our uh, Poke, Poke Center. Let's have a wander around the town. There's a lot of buildings in this town. I don't know if we should explore them all. I think we should definitely explore a lot of them because exploring the towns is where you get most of your HMs and TMs, so. Oh, we've reached a fence. We've reached a fence. Yeah, and then the scientist guy back here. And then we have, what's over here? What's this? The Devon Corporation. For all your living needs, we make it all. All right, that's kind of cool. We won't go in there just yet. I'm just exploring the town for now. There's the gym. This guy looks like Sips from um, from the Yogscast. The Devon Corporation, that's kind of a mouthful. So we just say Devon. The company makes all sorts of convenient products. Cool. Oh, what's this? Time-saving tunnel nearing completion. That's what it says on the sign, but there's also a big X. Splashed across it in red paint. Oh, and that's the end of the town. So, I think we've we've pretty much explored the whole town. There's a guy here who looks like he's gonna start some sort of quest or event with me, and there's a house here. I think we'll call it for a video, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, you can leave feedback, comments, suggestions, queries, questions, inquiries, whatever you like in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.